Hey, welcome back to another one of my exciting videos. Now, if you'll remember my previous video, I was very concerned about the credit limit on my Apple card. And they said, call back in 30 days. Well, guess what? It's been 30 days. Today is November, I'm sorry, today is December the 9th. The previous video was filmed on November the 19th, one a week or two after getting the phone, I can't remember. So I'm getting ready to call and see about that credit limit. So let's give Goldman Sachs a ring and see what they say. Welcome to Apple Card Support at Goldman Sachs. Your call may be recorded for quality assurance. We understand that the rapidly evolving COVID-19 situation poses unique challenges for everyone. This, by the way, is being filmed on my old iPhone 10. Apple Card is going through to we're currently using my new iPhone 12. What do you think about the video quality on that iPhone 10? Let me know in the comments. And I got to cut it off right now. Uh, yes, ma'am. Uh, I got my Apple Card about a month ago, and I called. And my, you might have been the nice person that helped me. But uh, I called a few days later after getting the card complaining about my low credit limit. I had a, I have a 820, 830 credit score. And yes, I know, you know, I accepted the low credit limit, but it was only $5,500. And I called a couple days later and they told me to call back in 30 days that they could look at raising it without, you know, doing a hard inquiry. And I was just, and I told the lady on that phone call that I was very offended because I have such a high credit score and they gave me such a low credit limit. I mean, with my credit score, I could go out and buy a brand new $120,000 Mercedes and they only gave me $5,500. I was expecting like at least 20,000. So I was wondering what we could do about getting my credit limit up. Okay, no problem. Can I inquire about the credit limit that I was giving to you? We currently don't have control over the credit limit that's given because of everything going into a computer system. Mm -hmm. So we, we can't choose the amount to put on the account, but I can go ahead and submit a request for you okay. for, to increase your credit limit. All right. So there's no guarantee it'll be the amount that you want. If it does get approved, there's no guarantee that it'll be it'll go up to the amount that you want or it could go up to that amount that you want. We just don't have no control over it. Um, the amount that will be given to you. Okay. All right. Well, like I said, 20000 would be nice or more, but, you know, let's, let's give it a whirl. I sure appreciate it because it hurts my credit utilization, such a low score, $5,500. And as you can see, I've, I've already got what, uh, when I bought this phone, that was $1,668. Plus, I've made another $300 worth of charges on there that I've paid off already. And I'm wanting to buy some more Apple products, but it's going to, you know, darn near max out my, my credit limit to buy more Apple products, you know. Well, yeah, I fully understand this, so I'm gonna go ahead and submit a request for you. Thank you. If you don't mind, so I can get your account pulled up so I can submit the request. Can I get your first last name and get it to work? Sure, it's, um, let's see here. Then we're back uh, filming through the iPhone 12 Pro Max now. So what happened in that six, seven minute phone call was she had to get into my personal information and I turned it off for that, obviously. But um, it, they do not, She it was kind of interesting. She said that they did not do hard inquiries and it would not show up on my credit report. And interestingly enough, I checked both my Experian and my Credit Karma and the inquiries from originally getting my Apple card are not showing on my credit report at all whatsoever. And I have read and it's my understanding that um, Apple Card has not been reporting a lot of people's information to the credit bureaus until after a few months of use, which to me, I'm kind of fine with it with this low credit limit. Now, hopefully they'll raise my credit limit. We'll see. She said it could take uh, anywhere from 10 minutes to three days um, to get an increase, if they give me an increase. But I have come to find out that Apple Card is known for low credit limits, uh, usually 40% of what your credit limit should be. And that's kind of like it on the high end, I think. So they're low, uh, but we'll see. I'm, I was hoping for 20 grand plus in a credit limit. I may be good to only get 10, if I even get 10. So we'll see what happens. 
and uh, I'll keep you posted and let you know. What do you think about my weight loss? And within the last year, I mean, I didn't start a year ago. A year ago, I was what, 265, 270 pounds. Today, I'm, well, as of last Sunday, I was 218.2 pounds. I'll put that uh, picture in right here. So yeah, I've lost uh, quite a bit of weight here since March and uh, thankful to get it off and that'll be that. I'm not going back in that direction anymore. But uh, just a little filler time here and I've been waiting to see you get a pop-up on my screen there, anything from the Apple Car or Apple Wallet. Again, she said 10 minutes to three days. So I will wrap this video up with whatever the end result is. Will they or won't they raise my credit limit? and how much. Stand by, we'll see. There you have it. They declined me, said the too new, account was too new to give me a credit limit increase. Now I have done some research and have come up with and read online that they say anywhere from four to six months to wait before requesting a credit limit increase with the Apple card, but $5,500, that is just so low. I mean, like I said, I have, that's, I have four times that in limits and credit cards and they start me out that low. I just don't understand it. Uh, but again, as I mentioned in a previous video and as she said on the phone, I can't remember if uh, that part of it was recorded or not. It's through a computer, it's through an algorithm. It's not an individual sitting there making the final decision. So anyway, we'll give it a few months and try again, but that's, that is ridiculously low and I'm very, very disappointed and very offended with Goldman Sachs and their credit limits here on the Apple card. Uh, as I've voiced several times, I can go out here and buy a new Mercedes Corvette, whatever, with just a signature and drive it off a lot and they're only giving me a $5,500 credit limit. Uh, I'm very offended because it's hurting my credit utilization. Now, thankfully, they're not reporting to the credit bureaus, so it really kind of don't matter at this point. But I don't know, you work hard, you pay your bills, you want your credit limits, you want your credit utilization, but if they're not reporting to the credit bureaus, it really doesn't matter. And by the way, looking through and editing my videos so far, I can tell the, quite a bit the difference between the iPhone 10 and the iPhone 12 and fixing to make an, another video here in a few minutes uh, talking about the iPhone uh, 12 and 10 and the other iPhone I had starting with the iPhone 5 and how they've come such a long way. But um, thank you for watching my videos and stay tuned. We'll see what happens on my credit limit here in the next uh, upcoming four to six months. See if I can get an increase and get up there to about... 25, 30,000 or so where I should be. I doubt it, but we'll see. And until, until then, stand by for the next video and uh, God bless. Have a great day.